Capitec proudly sponsors this program. Rethink Credit. Realize dreams. Capitec. and welcome to Win at Home Season 5 live on SABC3. My name is Danilo Acquisto and I'm ready to bring you all the drama. Get your thumbs ready to get tweeting hashtag Win at Home. Would you like to win your very own dream home worth more than 3 million rand? Well then if the answer is yes, this is the show you should be watching right now because at the end of the series in three short weeks from today, one lucky viewer will walk away with their choice of one of three fully decorated top floor penthouse apartments with elevated to access at the stunning part of Lay lifestyle estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. All you have to do is vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za to enter. Now, as always, if you do that before 7.45 p.m. this evening, you will still be eligible for the weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway, where tonight we have up the ante as an early Black Friday gift to you with our biggest prize pool yet. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 10,000 Rand Valence voucher, a Siemens EQ6 fully automatic coffee machine from loot.co.za worth 16,200 Rand, or a 10% Sation Supreme Queen bed set from Venkasa valued at 50,000 Rand. Well, the tonight's winner is going to be oh so lucky. And after choosing your prize door, you'll have a second chance to win with Samsung. And tonight they've decided to join the early Black Friday party by giving away not one, but two sets of Gear Icon X fitness earbuds with built-in music player, voice command coaching, and built-in heart monitor. It's worth a combined value of 6,600 Rand. That's one for you and perhaps a gift for Christmas for somebody else. And after that, if you're a captain, Tech client and can answer a simple question correctly, you'll add 5,000 Rand instant cash to your winnings. It's time now to head over to Part of Play where our duos are about to embark on their final challenge on Winner Home Season 5. Can you believe we've come this far? But first, here's a recap of what went down last week. Last time on Winner Home. The duos dished up some serious design drama as they work towards completing their kitchen challenge. Watch it, watch it! For Team Contrast Control, it all fell apart in the final moments with their hanging garden. But in the end, they managed to pull it back together. Woo! Stress stations. The Perma Peeps kept their kitchen open plan and on theme by bringing a feature plant wall into the space. We love this so much, it's our favorite feature. Team RNK whipped up a sophisticated design by including a wooden ceiling feature in their space, along with a beautiful Caesarstone island. I mean, here we are. I mean, when you look at this, don't you think chop chop? After a tough decision by the judges, it was Team RNK that took the victory. Team RNK! Squaring up the competition leading up into the final challenge. It's been quite a journey on Winner Home Season 5 and it's all led down to this. It's time for the final challenge. Design duos, this is it. The final challenge on Winner Home Season 5. Yo, I can't believe this is their last challenge, eh? Mm, apartments, they grow up so fast. So fast, one minute, little babies, next minute, filled up. It's been such a journey getting to this point, but we're feeling good. We're giving it our all on this last push for the last challenge, and hopefully we can get the judges on our side for one more challenge. It's bittersweet, huh? It is. Yeah, it's been great so far. And we've just won the kitchen challenge. Which is exciting. Absolutely so going amazing. into the next one, there's confidence. There's more confidence. There'll be no time for lounging about, because for this challenge, you'll be designing and decorating the largest space in your homes. You will have just two weeks to complete designing and decorating your open living area. However, there's more. In the same time frame, you will also have to complete your outside balcony areas. This is the most 
surface area we've had to cover in one challenge. I mean, there's just those two little nooks and then the actual lounge and then the outdoor. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've never done any landscaping in my whole life. What, what are we going to do? Let's ask, we should ask Pema Peeps for help. They're good with plants. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we thought that double challenges were hard. This is like a quadruple challenge all in one finishing yeah. of all small spaces and nooks and crannies. I know it's a lot, so to give you some inspiration, let's browse private property. As you can see, design flow is important in open spaces. Ensure that you maximize your lighting to incorporate the natural light from the outdoors. Furniture is key, especially when you're seating friends and family on the weekend. Consider bespoke items like coffee tables, dining room tables, and perhaps even a TV stand. Remember, your spaces need to be multifunctional. We have insane plans for this one. We're going all in. Yeah. Your mentor for this challenge is renowned interior designer, Kyle Rue. Ooh, Kyle Rue. We're very excited to work with him. We've heard great things. I mean, we've seen Kyle's work online. Mm. We just can't wait to work with him. I'm Kyle Rue. I'm an interior designer by trade. Our firm specializes in residential interiors in South Africa and in the southern parts of Africa. I was born in Harare, Zimbabwe, and I emigrated to South Africa 15 years ago in order to advance my trade. I believe that the trend in open plan living, as it has adapted over the last few decades, means that the integration between the kitchen, the living space, and the outdoor space becomes essential. And obviously this is one of the challenges that the contestants will be dealing with at Spada Flay, in that uh, it's really important that the flow on arrival from the kitchen space through to the living space and out to the balcony is consistent and has an inviting quality to it. There's a fine balance to strike between functionality and creativity. And I think I'll be looking for how well they've executed that balance. That although the space works from a lifestyle and living perspective, there's still creative elements which sort of set it apart from others. Our living space, we from the start have been crazy inspired by that view and the double volume space. So we are planning on making sure that we keep the space very open and that we get a very indoor-outdoor living feel between the balcony and the living room. Tell me a little bit about what you've got planned for you. To bring in the uniformity, the finishes we've used throughout, we're planning on doing a floating shelf where we make use of all of our breakage and offcuts of our tiles to actually mosaic slate tile it. Um, we've got our lovely wild olive floating shelf. This is really lovely. I love the natural elements of it. And then we're going to bring in some dark ash and some more plants. So all the textures and finishes translate and speak quite nicely to each other. Tell me about your furnishings. Where are they coming from? Waylands has a lovely couch called the Thea Couch. It's a very light grey, which we feel will go very well within the space here against the wall. Then we have a black woven chair. This chair will also be multifunctional. So it will be one of these chairs that you can then turn around with this window open and actually sit outside with it or sit here. I like the idea that the woven texture from the seats is repeated obviously in your custom light fitting. Brilliant. How are you planning to use the outdoor space? Being the South Africans that we are, we had to have an outdoor cooking element. So yeah. we are planning on building in a custom gas braai with a built-in bar with a lovely custom L-shaped um, seating area outside, which we're getting made out of reclaimed pallets to just bring in the upcycle nice. reclaimed elements again. Our mentor Carl Rue just gave us the most amazing feedback and inspiration for our one wraparound laundry station unit that kind of translates with the kitchen space. So we're feeling very excited about that section of the home. And he also saved the day because we were struggling with our lighting for outside and yeah, his suggestions were actually amazing. So thanks Kyle. Perma Peeps have got a great continuity in their style. Um, I've seen from the previous episodes how you know their distinctive style does flow through the various spaces. My great concern from them is that uh, they perhaps have a lot to execute in the time period with the cabinetry still required for the laundry area and the planned bra area on the balcony. I'm just worried that they're going to run a bit short on time. 
these are ideas. So I see you've got quite a strong sort of hexagonal thing going on with yeah, yeah. the tile format. How are you going to bring that feel into the living space? We're going to incorporate that into our coffee table. Oh, we were thinking of having three hexagons carved out of Caesar stone. Oh, yeah. Would yeah. you consider changing the finishes a little bit? So maybe bringing in a couple of the other finishes on each table so that you blend some of the finishes from the kitchen into the living room. That's interesting. So like a wooden one yes. and then of course maybe glass. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> and then we have a slats on the, on the canopy. Yes. So we want to also bring that into the lounge but not completely. So you're going to take the slatted idea in timber and translate it into a vertical slatted screen. Yeah. I really like that idea. Cool. It's also important that you have a connection and flow between the living room and the outdoor space. So what have you got planned for that? So because we've got wooden floors on the inside, we decided to have a deck on the outside. Great. And then also play with like your extra turf so that there's a bit of greenery in Some there. Some softness, yeah, 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 great. But it's really just a space to chill, to read, and to sort of like really relax. Yeah. <laughs> we adore. Yeah, totally. Adore Carl. Yeah. I mean, such great advice, right? He's given us like input on every single space. Not telling us what to do, but giving us really solid suggestions. I really like the direction you guys are taking. Just one parting shot, if I can. Um, I think that it would be really great to see an introduction of some color in small accent into the living space. It could be perhaps one of your goals coming through, but I'll leave you with that. So good luck, girls. Thank nice to so meet you. Much. Cheers. Okay. Bye. Color. I love that. I love that. The girls from Team r and I think, have executed their kitchen really well. And uh, I really like the introduction of the geometric hexagonal tiles, which they intend to bring through in some of the furniture items. I think my concern with them might be that overall it might be a little monochromatic, and therefore I really would like to see that introduction of colour. Take me through some of your concepts and ideas. So spatially, we are planning to have a dining table over here that kind of uh, joins the two spaces, so joining the kitchen. Oh, fantastic. So, so you're actually using that little so bank? So this, this will kind of work as the head of the table for the dining area, but it's also just a nice interaction with the joinery piece and how it's connected between the lounge and the kitchen. Tell me a bit about your living space and what you've got planned for there. For our main collaboration with Mlondo Lozi Hempe, he owns Umongo and he makes uh, custom furniture. He fits well with what I had already started doing, which was an Ottoman range collaborating with my grandmother. So she wove plastics, so your recycled plastics. Yeah, yeah, recycled plastics into a fabric that we upholstered the cushions. Cool. Is this, is this what we're seeing here? Yes, that's exactly what we're that's seeing. That's fantastic. Here. I love the bold colors more than anything. So I believe you guys have got quite an interesting idea as to how you're going to make use of this double volume space. It's another exciting one. We kind of like to take that frame and then the width of this joinery piece that we have done and create a big square up on this wall and then flip that out as well. And it might be a hammock in there. How are you going to get up to this sort of level? We might put uh, little step ladders that you see over here. And your plans for the outdoor space? The outdoor area, we see it as a multifunctional lounging chill space area. So we're going with a kind of a Moroccan low seating element. Right. Kyle has amazing ideas. Kyle yeah, it's been, been amazing meeting Kyle. Um, he was super helpful pointed out a bunch of things like we hadn't picked up on yet. The boys from Contrast Control, I admire their planning and execution. They seem to have things under control as far as that's concerned. But when it comes to their use of color, which I admire, I'll be interested to see how they manage to pull all those elements together in the finished interior. Seems like on Twitter, you all agree with me on that hashtag Winner Home by saying the duos have some incredibly creative ideas planned for their final challenge on Winner Home, the lounge. We cannot wait to see what they do with those spaces, including those balcony spaces. Now, coming up, we see what they have in store for their final collaborations, and one of our duos is bringing back a blast from the past. Don't forget to vote for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za to enter our grand prize competition. There are only 10 days left. Make note, 10 days left until the competition closes at midnight on Sunday 2 December. So get those entries in immediately. Remember, you can enter once per day, so do so now and every single day for the next 10 days. This is your last chance to win a dream home worth more than 3 million rand. So get it. See you after this. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.
Welcome back to the beautiful part of a lifestyle estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. On this season of Winner Home, we've showcased some incredible local design. And with the final challenge comes the final collaboration. And one of our duos has brought back a familiar face. So for our final collaboration, we got a little surprise. I mean, we went back into the archives, you know, like, pull them back. back. <laughs> I know, we're yeah. going to be working with Minente. I am Minente Duli, I'm a designer. I was part of Winner Home Season 3. Um, I was contacted by the girls, saying they have an idea of this coffee table. I must say I'm quite excited with the idea, because part of my upcoming range includes a coffee range. So I'm just going to work on that idea and then incorporate some of their styles and I'm excited about the Collaboration. So after our conversation, I'm thinking we have three different side tables that can form into one um, coffee table. Because like the lounge is becoming a space where it's multifunctional. With Minetle, we're creating this three-piece modular coffee table. Yeah. Oh, so exciting. The fact that they can all stand individually mm -hmm. and come together to, to serve as a bigger coffee table. Exciting, exciting. stuff. And in terms of materials, I'm thinking Caesar stone. Yeah. Um, and then you can maybe mix it up with some steel. Okay. No, I like the fact that you brought in the steel element because, yeah. I mean, it speaks to what we are about. You know, it, bring, it has a bit of industrial feel. Yeah. So that for us is quite important and yeah. I like that. Um, we were thinking coastal grey because that's the stone we finished that we use in the kitchen. So we wanted to like, uh, bring in the correspondence into our lounge. So there should be like a language that's there, you know, continuation. And then we could also possibly go with airy concrete, um, which is also still in the same family. It's grey. What's great about this table is that we are using Caesar stone again and of course glass. We're so excited to see the final product. I'm quite excited to work with Team RNK. They can be a bit sassy and a bit demanding, but I got them under control. I think we're definitely onto something here, ladies. Now the hard work begins. Yeah, it's all working. <laughs> Coming together. <laughs> I first met Heath Nash when he came to my high school back in the day and did a presentation showing how he uses post-consumer waste to create the most amazing just as decor pieces for your home. And since then, something inside me just sparked and I knew I had to work with this human at some stage. I'm Heath Nash, I'm the founder of our workshop. Um, we're a community organization based in Langa. What we're trying to do is figure out how do you establish a community organization that can run itself. What we do is we uh, provide artists and creatives a free space to work and to share skills and spend time together. So this is our washing station. Uh, we only use post-consumer plastic waste and this is where we wash it. Where do you get all of these bottles from though? Um, we've got a, quite a nice relationship with an organization in Claremont called Oasis. Oh, okay. And they do like household collections. People can drop their, their waste off there. Oh, brilliant. And then wow. we buy like a lot of it. We use upcycling because it's an easily available resource. There's plenty of it out there. And lo lots of awareness still needs to be raised about how useful and actually quite beautiful plastic waste is. Our collaboration, we are very, very excited to actually do. It's a wall-mounted lysing feature piece where post-consumer waste is cut into different types of shapes and they're going to look like they're crawling out of the wall with the lysing features behind it and we've gone with a warm light oh, as well. It's going to look oh. so lovely. And then when you turn things inside out, suddenly they become really interesting shapes. Yeah. Like it becomes an organic form. Oh, awesome. yeah. And we're going for kind of a leafy green thing like you yeah. asked for. How are we uh, working these electrics? So we do it kind of Very straightforward. The, the, okay. the plastic looks so beautiful and it's backlit. So we've got like three warm white bulbs and they're just going to plug straight into the wall behind, uh, behind the fixture. And the, nice the layers is really where it starts to, mm. starts to make some, some, some sense. Shadows. And overlapping, yeah. And, oh, it's an amazing cool. material. It's all coming together nicely. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. I can't wait. Teamwork, teamwork is dream work. <laughs> it is always amazingly awesome being involved in a project where you've got lots of different hands and energies being involved into the collaboration and just it gives you something so much more. You can just feel the energy and souls of everybody that's cut a shape and been a part of that installation. We are absolutely dying in anticipation to just see what that installation is gonna look like in our living room space with that soft, warm lighting, and it's gonna be magical. Our final collab, we've chosen to partner with Mlonda Lozi Hempe. He's an architect and also a furniture designer, so we're picking up on, on the furniture design side of things. 
So basically coupling up his designs and his furniture design kind of concepts with a furniture range that I've been busy with in collaboration with my grandmother with a woven recycled plastic, upholstering some high density foam and with a leather detail and just inserting his kind of base design in all his furniture and I think that's going to look amazing and the two concepts really collaborate together. I'm Lundu Luziembe and I basically am a designer and across multiple platforms like architecture, furniture and for this particular project we're basically doing a furniture design concept. So yeah guys, this is what we have for you. We've basically tried our best. Yo, Yo. that's sick. Yo. Mlo's work is insane. The guys came to me basically looking for seating for their dining area. And then from there, they told me uh, the concept that they had with the cushions, where they've got one hour work with the woven concept. Cool, let's just grab a cushion and see, you see? See, okay. like, it's a very nice blend with you guys, this textured finish and this. It's, so nice. it's all natural, all natural. I'd love to try to sit on one of these. Yeah, let's just basically grab one, grab one. You see? They're nice and comfortable, you see? Yeah. <laughs> you said jump on yeah. and this is that high density form. Exactly, so it's gonna work nice. The guys as designers, they, they seem to be very quite intuitive and, and also they are willing to want to explore different ideas and different concepts. And for the half moon that mm -hmm. I told you about, yeah. I was thinking a similar detail, just obviously bigger. Oh, okay, I see, I see. It's nice to work with people like that where they, you know, they, they want to push the boundary of a, an interior of a space or, or, or any type of, of, of environment so that they can actually stand out a little bit and make their work look u unique for the purpose of what they want to do. So were you guys planning on putting this part of it, yeah? This specific half moon will be going in the niche outside our little guest bathroom. Yeah. So basically that piece is going to join the other rooms that we have to the lounge space. Oh, this right, is I see, tie I see, in I see. With the Ottomans over So it's here. like a little race corner. The, the, the How the many space. legs are you thinking for this one? Um, yes. I think five foot two. Five foot two. Yeah, yeah. basically one, two, like three, three center points and two at the front. Just six, to give it, yeah. yeah I think five legs would be fine one, for this two, one. Three. Oh, sick. I see you've got some legs there for the bench. Mm. Oh, yeah, actually, uh, I was going to show these to you guys. And as you know, like the basically the main concept of the bench is the legs where you've got different, basically, legs from different time periods just to give it a bit of uniqueness. Yeah. I think it's going to work well with your space around the dining table, and then, yeah, keep it like... And it's around the dining table. <laughs> <laughs> to all the pessimists, don't tell me we need to look to overseas to get some design inspiration. We have some incredible talent right here at home in South Africa, don't you guys think? All three of our duos have gone for completely different approaches to their final collaborations, and it's going to be very, very interesting to see how they all turn out in the spaces. Now, I'm very excited for tomorrow as well, because do you know why? Well, Black Friday fever is in the air, and everyone around the country is going to be scampering for all the crazy sales going on. Well, Baldwin Properties are running their own Black Friday specials tomorrow at Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate, including 50,000 Rand and 80,000 Rand savings on selected apartments. So make sure that you head down there to go and view the units on offer. You can go to bullwin.co.za for more information. Now, after the break, the duos are getting into this shopping action too. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home, hosted at Part of Play Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. With the final challenge, tensions are running high, and nothing breaks the stress of site life quite like a little retail therapy. It's our last time shopping, sadly. But Joe, we're going to be spending a lot. I'm glad. We literally have allocated like half our budget for these two spaces that we've got left to complete. So, so we can be a bit, a bit bougie now with our selection. <laughs> and it's cool that Kyle Rue is here to like keep us grounded. A curve can add a really interesting dynamic to a space. Just to narrow down our selection because we're just like too excited right now. 
Yeah, this is very lacquer sofa. Very nice ergonomics in that. We have been having some trouble with the with the space constraints, so we might go with something simpler for the couch and then maybe bring in a round grounding element in our rug. Great, to soften some of the hard lines. Kelmile, I see you're fading on us. Totally listening to you guys. I'm just loving my life right now. Oof. It's amazing how often you kind of fall in love with an interior piece and you want to use it outside, but you can't always do that. But luckily, yeah. like Valence has some pieces that kind of speak to each other. It's amazing that they accommodate that relationship. For our outside area, we were thinking of having this kind of chair with the woven technique. Great, what it do you looks, think about it? Yeah, I think it looks fantastic. I like the color especially. And I mean, the weave detail, I think it obviously picks up well on some of the recycled plastic weaves that you're doing inside. Mm. And I think probably one of the biggest factors, apart from the durability, is obviously the wind factor. You know, open weave chairs like this don't pick up the wind, and in Cape Town, that's obviously a plus. So I love the fact that you guys have varied seating in texture and color, and I think that sort of mix of different styles of seating is really gonna be an interesting factor in your apartment. I've got to run. Can't wait to see it all. Awesome. Thanks so much, Carl. Thank you Cheers. so much for your time. Ciao. Bye. Our budget is maxed out now. Absolutely <laughs> toasted. <laughs> toasted. We got so many things. We have a coffee table. We have a couch. With like a whole outdoor suite, like yo, like in exterior poofs. We balling. Yo, we are balling. Our design duos are so lucky, man. I'm sure they're all going to be missing those shopping sprees at Valence after the competition is over. But for now, their focus is on designing those living rooms and balcony spaces before deadline. So let's head back to Part of a Lifestyle Estate to see how they're coming along. Glad those kitchens are done. Yo, I'm so glad, because now there's space and we can actually use the washing machine. Because things get dirty, you know, and like, you can't just always go home. After tasting out a couple of our paint swatches on the wall and painting, we've decided we are going with a different colour. We want a colour that's just going to bring in a little bit more warmth mm -hmm. and, and depth to the space. We felt that the colour was just too cold, so we've changed our choice now. It looks awesome. It's going to tie the whole space together. Mm. Amped. <laughs> Our crazy TV just arrived. Mm, so we've made some time to play around a little. I just found the mountain. Yo, that mountain scenery is insane. 55 inches of Samsung. Ooh, it's so huge. And you can use your actual phone as a remote. Bro, it's actually quite crazy how you can just use this as a remote. Ooh. Can you believe it? And actually told us that like the washing was done. Washing, washing. So you can't hide to your visitors that your undies are done. <laughs> undies are ready. <laughs> Literally nothing like airing your dirty laundry on national television. Contrast control, hmm? Hmm? <laughs> to keep up to date with the latest happenings from our design duos and to engage with them in real time, make sure you follow them all on social media. They're watching the show right now and would love to reply to all your messages. So follow Nick and Kehumile from Team Contrast Control. They're at Nick Nick Smith and at Kehumile Mate on Twitter. Melissa and Sinead from the Perma Peeps will love to hear from you as well. They are Sinead Turner 9 and Melissa underscore Uis. And Team RNK can be found online. Recupile B and Coquette. So More, uh, Marole, M A R O L E. You can follow them all. Follow our talented design duos and the contestants uh, on Twitter. They'd love to reply to all of your comments. We'll see you after the break. Get that hashtag Winner Home trending. With all your bank cards safely loaded onto your Galaxy smartphone using the Samsung Pay app, instantly get what your home and heart desires. Safer and simpler, allowing you to pay anywhere. Live a seamlessly connected life with the Samsung SmartThings app.
Welcome back to Winner Home. We are live on SABC3. We hope you've been using that hashtag Winner Home on across all your social media platforms. Loving hearing what you guys are thinking of the show this evening. Now, if you become our grand prize winner, it means that you'll be able to call Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West your very own home. You'll have access to the Lifestyle Center, boasting a gym, swimming pool, and restaurant with a wood-burning pizza oven. And can I tell you, those pizzas are delicious. Plus, being in a close proximity to the beach and the winelands as well, it's fast becoming one of the most sought after areas in the Cape. We caught up with some of the current residents to find out why they chose to call this beautiful estate home. We decided to move to Pot Flay Lifestyle Estate about a month ago. We're looking around for a pet friendly place. Just we needed a bit more space as well. And it just made sense to move here because it's so central. Yeah. Like it's so close to everything we wanted to do. This is Reggie. Yeah. So we actually rescued him from Oscar's Ark. He was a street dog and they say he's about six years old. He's, yeah, he's a grumpy old man. He likes hikes. He just, he likes being outside. Yeah. Hikes, walks, mountains. I work as a freelance designer, so all my work is done from home. So it's quite nice that the area is so quiet and peaceful. My mom loves gardening and my gran loves gardening, so when we finally found the spot, it was really, really nice. I've started up my veggie patch. We are vegetarians, so I wanted kind of stuff that we would eat in general because I just thought it would be an interesting project. Big work in progress. It's getting there. I think it's coming Yeah, up. it's getting there. A friend and myself decided we want to try on a marathon early next year. So it's just really convenient having a gym right around the corner. So anytime I need to train, I just walk across and it's got everything I need. Treadmills, weights, everything. It's nice because you'll introduce yourself to a lot more people. So I find it a nice community with everyone that we've met so far. I think with the flay as well, it's beautiful walking there in the evenings. So you know, just the views from it as well. Yeah. Of the Holderberg. This is Isabella. She's just gone one year old and she's our first child. We intend to grow her up in the Cape. So being close to the schools and, and the good nursery schools in the area will, will help us a lot as a family to grow. We moved from Joburg last March and being the OCD person that I am, I literally check private property every single night, Gabriel saw me. Every suburb, what we wanted is a secure development for Izzy. Um, so the security really impressed us yeah, with the biometric access. The fingerprint control system seems to uh, be the highest system on the market at the moment and that impressed us. As well as the secure nature of the estate, there aren't many gated estates in the area. Um, so this felt the safest to us when we drove in here and saw the show unit for the first time. Being within close proximity to Strand Beach is quite attractive. Strand has a promenade, um, which was really important to us in Seapoint. Yeah, and it's warm, the water's yeah. warm, it's really calm, the waves aren't too large. So for us to be able to you know, get accustomed to the ocean being semigrants from Joburg really goes a long way for our lifestyle, which we didn't have in Joburg. So that's quite attractive for us. And that, that was another box we ticked um, when we looked at location. Last year we looked around and we drove a lot and we discovered this place here. In January we, we bought it, end of January, and then yeah. we moved in in February this in February this year. Within ten days. Within ten Which days. Is quite only, fast, only I think. Two suitcases. <laughs> yeah. And uh, build a new home. Yeah. <laughs> we enjoy our breakfast our outside breakfast on the terrace here, and because it's very beautiful in the morning, it's sunny and it's it's a little bit shade out there, and it's really nice because it's quiet, and we can enjoy. The, the nature and all the stuff here around, mm -hmm. which, is, which is very beautiful. The good thing here is it's a lock up and go. It, it don't looks like a lock up and go, but it is. But it is yeah. Because it's, it's a very secure place, but it's still very open. And mm -hmm. this is the idea which we, which we like very much here. The reason we do live in, in part of Lay is that it is very quiet, tranquility, and the tranquility and uh, the nature, it is, it is green, and uh, the old farmhouses uh, in the 
front of our house. It's so nice. So that is, that is the reason that we fall in love with this duplex here. Yeah. We love architecture yeah. and, and we love the tension between, between the old houses up from there and, and this new houses here. And, and, and this, this architecture is very unique here in South Africa, I think, and this makes this place very special. Of course, we, we, we do wine tours because we, we love the food there, we love the wineries the wine itself, the wine tasting and the mm -hmm. restaurants. And this is, this is really nice because you can, you can have so much fun there you know, with, mm -hmm. with all the stuff. And we like the combination, that is one of the reasons we are in South Africa, the combination of wine farms, mountains and, uh, and the oceans. That's a thing we, we love very much. Yeah. The estate is so stunning and I must say a huge thank you to all the residents who greet the Winner Home team so graciously every time we're on site. It's really, really special to spend this much time with you. Now, if you'd like to experience the estate for yourself and be part of an amazing cause, then make sure you head to Part of Lay Lifestyle Estate this coming Sunday. It's 25 November and you can take part in the Baldwin Charity Hat Walk. It's the 2018 version of the walk itself. The event starts at 7 a.m. and you're welcome to bring your pup along as well. There are prizes to be won and refreshments on sale. For more details on how you can enter for the race, head over to ballwin.co.za. It's going to be a lot of fun and all the proceeds will be going to a very, very worthy cause. After the break, it's time for our weekly Capitec Open the Door giveaway. Could I be calling you? Don't take credit. Unexpected coming from a bank. But just think about it. Using credit to finance a flashy lifestyle to show that you've arrived won't help you live better. What's new today is old tomorrow, except for the debt that you still have to pay. But do take credit to renovate your home, buy a more reliable car, or pay for your children's education. If that's your goal, then Capitec will help you realize your dreams. Because living better starts when you get credit for the right reasons. Get credit for the right reasons. Up to 250,000 Rand based on your need. Capitec. Welcome back to Winner Home Live on SABC3 where the winning never ends. It's time for the Capitec Open the Door giveaway where we draw one lucky name from the past week's entries and that lucky contestant will get to choose one of these doors behind me and win whatever is behind that door. Here's what's hidden behind these doors tonight. Tonight on Capitec Open the Door, you could win a 10,000 Rand valence voucher. A Siemens EQ6 fully automatic coffee machine from loot.co.za worth 16,200 Rand. Or a 10% Sation Supreme Queen bed set from Venkasa valued at 50,000 Rand. How amazing are the prizes tonight? Well, here to open the door for us, we have Beardette Hobbs, service consultant from Capitec. How are you this evening? Hi, I'm very good, thank you. Awesome, you drove all the way from Sierra's to be with us tonight, and apparently your whole team is watching. Do you want to say hi to them? Hi, Capitec. Hi, Sierra's. <laughs> now listen, are you excited to give away some prizes with us tonight? Definitely. Have you got that hand, like that door opening arm movement ready? Been practicing. Been practicing, that's good news. We have a lucky caller on the line who we called as this week's uh, entry, Mary Jane Peterson from Stellenbosch. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm doing very, very well, thank you. Are you ex excited and ready to win some prizes with Capitec tonight? Yes, I am. Awesome. So you've heard the prizes hidden behind the different doors. The only real question I have to ask you now is do you prefer red, white, or blue? Which is your favorite color? The red one. The red. Is it your favorite color of all time in any case? Sorry? Is it your favorite color as well? Yes, it is. Good. Well, you've won yourself a 10,000 Rand Valence voucher. Congratulations. Excited, Mary Jane? 10,000 Rand from Valence. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. It doesn't end there. I'm still going to be giving you some more prizes, but I want to say thank you to Be Dead for joining us tonight. And let's look forward to giving away some more prizes next week, all right? Definitely. All right. Samsung's got another chance for you to win, Mary Jane. Uh, all you have to do is answer an easy Samsung product-related question. Now, are you ready for your question? 
Yes, I am. Cool, then listen carefully to this. The Samsung Gear Icon X earbuds have some amazing features like the built-in music player with four gigabytes of onboard storage, a built-in heart monitor, and by syncing your Gear Icon X with the S Health app on your compatible Samsung smartphone, you can have a coach's voice in your ear to keep you motivated. Now, to win this awesome prize, answer this question for me, Mary Jane. How big is the onboard storage of the Gear Icon X? Is it A, one gigabyte, or B, four gigabytes? B, four gigabytes. Are you sure? Yes, I am. You are correct. Congratulations. Those prizes are yours. Thank you! <laughs> right, so we're not done just yet. The other part of this competition is whether you're a Capitec client or not. And uh, before I get to ask you the question, I must ask, are you a Capitec client? Yes, I am. Right, then do you want to win 5,000 Rand in cash? Thank you. Okay, well then listen to this question. Answer it correctly and I'll give it to you. Which of the following is a good credit choice? Is it A, using credit to buy a fridge for your kitchen, or B, using credit to buy alcohol for a lack of braai? I... A. A <laughs> you are a wise woman. Yes, indeed, that is correct. 5,000 Rand in cash being transferred to you right now, tonight. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Just in time for, for um, Black Friday tomorrow. Nice. So is that what you're going to use the money for? Um, I think so. Good stuff. Try and buy a gift for somebody for Christmas while you're at it, all right? Okay. All right. Congratulations. And thanks for winning, well, winning on the show tonight and for entering on private property. Thank you, Danilo. Alrighty, good night. It's that simple. Enter now on privateproperty.co.za and you could be the lucky caller on Capitech Open the Door next week. But remember, entries close on Sunday to December, so there are not that many more chances to possibly win the grand prize. This is your chance to win the home you've always dreamed of. Enter the Winner Home competition by voting for your favorite design duo on privateproperty.co.za and stand a chance of winning a fully decorated apartment at Pardaflay Lifestyle Estate, developed by Baldwin Properties worth over 3 million rand. Plus, you'll automatically be entered into the weekly draw where this coming Thursday night you could walk away with a Samsung soundbar with Bluetooth, acoustic beam technology, game mode and voice and tone clarity. And if that's not enough, Capitec clients stand a chance to win a further 5,000 Rand in cash. Competition details plus T's and C's can be found on the private property website. Win a home every Thursday evening at 7.30 on SABC3. The stage is yours. Welcome back to Sight. This is part of Lay Lifestyle Estate in Somerset West, developed by Baldwin Properties. At the halfway mark on the final challenge of Winner Home, our design viewers' energies are spent. However, it's the final stretch. Let's see how they're coming along. Hey, dude. Danilo. <laughs> Yo, we've done quite a lot for halfway mark, but still quite a lot to do. Super glad we pushed some items during the kitchen challenge. The things that have given us trouble in the past, we pushed to get done by now, like the joinery item that runs straight through into the lounge. Our paintwork is done. Still got like that massive wall art that we were talking about to go. That very ambitious hammock. That's gonna go above here. A whole hammock in the lounge. So your lounge is gonna be like a man cave, it feels like. It's gonna be like a whole bunch of cool gimmicks. Like I'm already digging this guy. That's not so manly. It's like quite gender neutral, you know? Liquor. A lot is happening right now. So the furniture, the collaboration with Melondo Lozi just arrived. All his benches are here. And that bean bag is like a sample that's gonna go outside with our low seating lounge Moroccan vibe. And your Caesar stones arrived as well. Where's that gonna go? Is that gonna be making what? This Caesar stone here is gonna go into the drinks cabinet, well, on top of the drinks cabinet cool. as a top. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna have this kind of glass as a splashback in our niche. And then this here is gonna be our dining table. Okay. Now listen, obviously it's the final challenge of the show. You guys are bringing so many wow factors into this space. Yes. Are you feeling confident about being done on time for this one? Yo, this one is going to be quite tight. Mm -hmm. I think like confidence level is like 85. Good. 15%. I mean, it's good, but like yeah. it should be 100, you know Okay, I mean? cool. I got you. I see some sleepless yeah. nights coming up. Oh my gosh. The way you're describing it, I cannot wait to see it all like exposed with that color and design. Um, so I'll leave you to it and then good luck for that final deadline day. Thank you so much. I'm excited to see how everything pans out. Yeah. Like, we're nearly there. Can final I take this round. home with me? I'll take this no, home no, with no, me. No, 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 no. That's like, Why? 
That's like a whole budget. Thanks. It's very cool. Enjoy. Okay, thanks. Bye. Take it. Not really. <laughs> R and K. R and K. Holy moly! Literally, there is nothing happening. The girls aren't here. There's basically just paint on the wall. It's halfway mark. Halfway mark. I expected a bit more. And we start our shopping. We need to get. Can you believe it? All our outdoor stuff and furniture and oh my goodness, it's just a lot. I hope Danny's enjoying that interior. <laughs> Look at that. If only you just managed to lay the outside down, nothing else is done. There's nothing we could do. We had to shop here. Yeah. Swap the card. Whew. My hope is that they're out getting all of the magic ready for this challenge, because this does not look like it's going to be complete on time. Hmm. We'll have to wait and see. Faces of frustration. This face says it all. And this face, no, it's going, no, it's just a little bit of a loss today, I guess. We've got a whole bunch of boards that we need to put together and assemble carcasses for cabinets, but yeah. some of the sizes that arrived aren't quite what, we, what the cutting list was, and then there's some that are missing, so we're kind of just making a puzzle piece with very interesting pieces, Bits, yeah. yeah. Our slate ledge is up. Uh, we have actually used our slate tiles from both our bathroom as well as our kitchen area. The breakage, all wastage. the breakage, and that has been put together in a very beautiful mosaic upon our ledge. And we've got a few other things to do. A few. <laughs> <laughs> It's really, really the last little piece of the puzzle, as you guys mentioned. And I want that last piece to just fit in perfectly. If you guys deliver something amazing. So do we. <laughs> Why are we okay. pushing? Okay, so paint me a mental picture of what this is all going to come together like. Heat's collaboration that we've spoken about yeah. is going on this side of the wall. So we've cool. got to obviously do a few bits of electrical work and that kind of stuff. And then we've got some beautiful pieces that are going outside, seating-wise, which were mm. are being delivered today. Mm -hmm. actually should have been I'm here already. Yeah. Like, yeah. Get the point out. Go, go. <laughs> Yeah. The same person who's built our seating for us has also built an amazing bry station for us, oh, cool. which is going to house a little mini fridge mm. and a gas fry and yeah, stunning. Oh, all keep, those little bits are here. Literally, keep that vision in your mind. Keep mm. those beautiful things that get you excited. Because I see that sort of frown turn upside down when you talk about the things that you love. So the word bry. Yeah. 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 <laughs> keep that motivation going, guys. Good luck, and I know home is rooting for you guys. All right, so get this last challenge done. We'll see you. So a deadline. Much done. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, the competition's been long. I'm going cuckoo, and so are our design duos. A huge congratulations again to Mary Jane Peterson from Stellenbosch. Tonight's Cappy Take Open the Door live caller. She was so lucky. She won a 10,000 Rand Valence voucher. Two sets of Samsung Gear Icon X earbuds worth 6,600 Rand. And because she's a Capitec client and answered a question correctly, won an additional 5,000 Rand in cash, bringing her total prize value to 21,600 Rand. Can you believe it? Uh, you too can be a winner if you enter now on privateproperty.co.za. The biggest prize, although, is one of those incredible apartments fully decorated by our design duos worth over 3 million Rand. And the best part is that you get to choose which one you want. You have only 10 days left to enter the competition and it closes on midnight, Sunday to December. Until next week, from us at Winner Home, good night and have a brilliant rest of your week and good luck on, on uh, Black Friday tomorrow. Don't spend all your money. Cheers. This coming Thursday on Winner Home, there's no time for lounging about. With Deadline looming for their final challenge, the three design duos give it all they've got to finish both the open plan living area and the balcony in time for the judges. Not a lot is happening, but it will get done. Now we can just give up. The rest of the site doesn't even matter. Catch all the design drama on Winner Home Thursdays at 7.30pm on SABC3 with the repeats on Saturdays at 3pm. The stage is yours. Another feel-good production. Search for a home on any device, anytime, anywhere. Private property, a home for everyone.